Muslim Congresswoman District reported to be terrorist recruitment capital of the U.S. In my eyes, Barry, this is a very, very, very dangerous situation here in my eyes. And the fact that not a lot of people are alarmed by this is really a shocker. What do you think about this? Yeah, that's a really interesting article, Jermaine, because what it says is that the county there in Minnesota has now uh, voted to ban refugee resettlement mm -hmm. because the Somali um, um, immigrants that are coming in have made northern Minnesota into, get this, of all the congressional districts in the United States, the number one jihadi recruitment Congress district in America. So look, the local county government said enough's enough. We've taken in so many of these people. Crime's out of control. Our police can't get it under control. The refugees are swamping our um, welfare system. And in many cases, literally, people are afraid to walk down the street. So it's Absolutely. not a wonder or a shock that the recruitment to jihadi organizations around the world is coming out of this area hugely. And quite frankly, it's way overdue. And I'm very glad to hear them do it. And I wish other places around America did the same thing, Jermaine. And we were speaking about uh, this on the show the other day is that uh, they get a $4,000 stipend on average, Barry, here in Minnesota. The refugees do. They get housing. They get free health care. And on top of that, there's programs here in Minnesota that will give them a free car, Barrett. We don't even do that for our troops that go out and fight wars. I mean, what do you think about this, Barry? Well, it's almost like you can't do enough for someone who then bites the hand that feeds them. Mm -hmm. We should mention, Omar said one other thing last week. When Iran was talking about striking back at America after Soleimani's death um, and talking about various targets they were looking at, Ilhan Omar, a United States Congresswoman who has taken the oath of office to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States said, maybe Iran should target Trump hotels around the world to destroy. Keep in mind, she's not some cranky crazy lady in her basement with a Twitter account with a couple followers. She's a member of Congress talking about treason and the murder of the president or at least his properties on a frequent basis. Meanwhile, the Somali, Somali immigration settlement policy has nothing to do with what went on in Syria or Lebanon, Iraq or Afghanistan. And yet we're taking in multitudes of these immigrants who are Muslim, who are creating crime waves, the likes of which your state has never seen before. And your state is going broke because of it, because there was no budget for it. So yep. like I said a minute ago, my hat's off to the county that said, no more. Enough's enough. We can't handle it financially or crime-wise in our district. Uh